all right guys here to make a little update video um so i purchased a kayak about a few actually a few weeks ago um it was bare bones i'm still working on installing all the parts for it but i wanted to go over it to uh, kind of give you a little bit of feedback of what i've been doing um so this is a vibe sea ghost 13 um so it's 13 feet long it's the 2016 model i believe um so well let's kind of go over it so first thing i built this little battery box for it um which has a, a little this is all temporary for now but um it's a brute lithium iron battery um that is rechargeable um and i have it kind of wired in here for now i'm going to redo this wiring and uh get it a little bit better um excuse my dogs um but it's in a waterproof case um on and off switch with it's the voltmeter reading it there so you can see it tells you how the voltage um sae connector attached and a one of these uh one of these quick water connectors the waterproof ones so this is gonna go hold on a second this is gonna go in here um so right there there's the other sae connector um i try to make it as modular as possible and then there's some velcro on the bottom there to hold it so i can i can sit there anyway so let's keep going so i have a uh garmin striker here with a uh i forget what brand of mount this is but it's um it's like a quick disconnect one so you can pop it out I think it's a scotty or whatever the hell it is but it's on these one plastic one which i was going to use but then turned out that it was way too wobbly so i put it back here um and i got a stainless steel one in the front but quick disconnect i got all the wiring in here that's for the transducer which is on the bottom uh transducer is mounted in this hole up here look a hole right there so it's in there um cable comes through here there's a i, I use one of these old plug things and i uh put some silicone around it so i can seal it and then the cord can still move. This is just tight. Um, so yeah, and then you can see the cable that's going in the uh, through the boat. So everything is compartmentalized. I can pop a cable out if I need to. It's not gonna let water pass through or anything like that. Um, sorry, my dogs are just being really obnoxious. Um, so right now I'm working on getting, I'm um, fabricating some seat risers. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, pretty suggestive. Anyway, so these are gonna go in here, kind of like that, and they're gonna help uh, raise the the seat, hopefully like this, and then the the back is gonna also be raised a little bit. Um, so I got the front and the rear there. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm gonna add some lights, hopefully. Um, and then this is what I did last weekend, which was a, uh, a little, uh, rod holder kind of thing where, uh, I took this from flying fish TV and I kind of modified it so it would fit more of this. Um, so these guys will go, these are kind of like the outriggers and then there's two here and I can put two more right there, which for now I'm going to leave open. Um, also I redid the, uh, let me remove the paddle here. Uh. So I redid this this uh, cabling for the uh, for the rudder here. I have to tighten the uh, see it it almost goes up. Oh, there it goes. Um, so I put a uh, this this thing back here tends to fail a lot, like holding it, it'll just slide. Um, so I added one of these uh, clips right here. It basically locks. I can lock the cord in place like that. And then it's it acts like a secondary uh, holding mechanism for this rudder control. Um, and back here, obviously, you have the rudder, you have the cables, which these cables I need to swap out for the stainless steel ones, but we'll see. 
Um, this is just temporary. I'm gonna put my cooler or a fish bag back here. Um, this is empty, or actually there's some hardware in there. Um, but that's just gonna be kind of like a little holding thing. Um, um, and yeah, that's it for this guy. So this is gonna go on top of the Xterra. Um, and I'm gonna be doing some, hopefully some fishing videos once I get all the hardware for it. Um, the lights, the obviously the PFD, um, radio, all that. So um, yep, that's it. Quick, uh, obviously, yeah, the, the little pedal things for the, this is where the cord goes to the back. But yep, that's it. So I'm gonna, oh yeah, and then this box, I'm gonna use it for probably a separate smaller lithium battery for the lights. Um, but we'll see what I do with it. But for now, I'm gonna leave it as is, keep working on it, and um, yeah, so uh, that's my boat for now. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying to make more content. Uh, it'll probably be mixed a little bit. Um, but yeah, I want to focus a little bit on this guy, and the Z is gonna be a little bit more of a weekender. Um, I've been working from home. So I haven't been driving it that much. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully I can make it where this thing's out of the out on the water. So um, yep. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.